In this video, I'm going to show you a passing concept that is going to space the field horizontally and vertically to be able to attack man and zone coverage. We're going to be in the trips tight end formation. We're talking about the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. And if you want to get my full Madden 23 offensive ebook on trips tight end or just all my ebooks in general, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. It gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including trips tight end. We're dropping a brand new ebook this week. So you want to be in there make sure you sign up for that it's linked in the description if you want to check it out so we're in detroit and we're gonna be taking a look at the plate drive post and we're gonna to talk today about a really incredible route combination that is going to really space the field well it's gonna be able to attack man coverage zone coverage and it's actually one of my personal favorite concepts being that we're going to combine the seam read and the levels play within one passing play. So the play is drive post. Here's the setup. We're going to streak the tight end. We're going to wheel the running back. We're going to end the middle trips receiver and motion him across. That's going to make him an out route. This is the basic concept. And our first read on the play is we're going to look to the right and see if we can hit this quick throw. If we can, we're going to take this little quick five-yard route over and over and over again. This is going to force our opponent to have to respect our quick passing game here to the right side of the screen. If you want to smart route the route, you certainly are more than welcome to do that. The other thing that we want to be able to do though is this is going to pull out a flat zone and we can now throw this short side wheel. What makes this concept so powerful, specifically against zone uh, coverage, is the fact that this short side streak paired with a short side wheel is really effective for attacking every zone because the deep zones will never play the running back wheel and the flat zones are not going to be able to play it either because they're being pulled outside by this quick out route. So you'll see here, this is going to be wide open over and over and over again. This play has become one of my favorites for not only beating zone, but also for beating the man blitz. And I'm going to show you why. If I audible to a basic five-man pressure, you're going to notice that the running back is completely out leveraged to the flat. So what's going to happen is that corner on the right is going to go with the out route. The safety is going to go with the streak. That linebacker is going to blitz, and I'm going to replace that blitz with this route right here. And as you can see, this is an incredible, incredible blitz-beating concept as well. It's going to beat the blitz really, really, really well. I'm going to jump into a cover three here and just show you that variation of coverage as well. We're going to get to the left side in just a second. The left side is actually the main concept, but this right here is a great concept to attack the defense quickly. Here's cover three. Again, you see this is wide open. I can throw this against every single coverage in the game. Now, the best coverage that you're going to see for this play is going to basically be something that looks kind of like this. It's going to be a drop eight coverage where the running back is going to have to be manned up uh, on this play. So let me go ahead and put this linebacker in man coverage. Let me drop this guy here and we'll show you this basic concept. So um, if you think about the running back, we're still gonna be able to pass lead to leverage. This is why I like bigger and taller running backs in this year's game because of this throw that I'm about to show you. So you'll see he's manned up. I'm gonna high ball and free form to the outside. It's gonna give him that over shoulder catch and he is going to run free in the open field. If you don't feel comfortable making that throw, that's fine. We have other reads open on the play, but this is gonna force your opponent to basically have to go to the right side of the screen at the snap, which is going to open everything else up. We want the user to have to vacate the middle of the field because we wanna throw the ball into the middle of the field, okay? So now let's say that the user does that. Let's say that just to imitate this guy's the user and he is going to go guard the running back. Because the running back, if you don't go guard him, is going to be open. So they have to go guard the running back quick. Obviously, they have to have some flat protection and all that. You have this high ball that is a possibility. Um, if, you, if you see access, throw it. If you don't, which is more likely, especially in a drop eight coverage, um, if you don't see like an access throw to the tight end, then what you want to do is you want to work this backside concept um, that I really love. And it's just a high-low in the middle of the field. So you see here, not open. Um, I can throw that right there. 
I kind of threw it a little bit late. You want a smaller receiver on the outside. I will say it's a lot better with a smaller receiver. That route will cut a little faster. If the, the more agility they have is really what you're looking for. But anyway, the user is going to run to the running back. And if he does, this post route over the middle is going to be wide open. So you see right here, right there, that route is going to be really hard to stop. And they have to use or defend this route. That's what makes it so good. So... Generally speaking, a lurk that's probably going to happen is they're going to go from the running back and then they're going to go to this post. So to demonstrate that, we're just going to kind of act like he's already over here. And now we'll show you where this becomes, I think, just one of the best passing concepts in the game because even a drop eight coverage is going to struggle because they have to go guard the running back. Now they're going to lurk back to the post. And then what that's going to do is you're going to have that route right there as a simple check down uh, to Mike Evans. So the middle of the field is vacated. Even in a drop eight coverage, they can't cover the whole middle of the field. They have to literally drop to the running back, and then they have to go to the post. So, in the example or in the uh, event that that happens, you can, if you want to, put the backside guy on just a basic in route. If he's ever given you problems for bigger receivers, I like to put them on in routes with this play. But what you'll see is right there that gets open. Now, let's say, let's just say he goes and he lurks from. The running back to the post, back to the end route. Let's just say that he does that. Essentially, we're just going to leave it like this. And just imagine uh, that the running back's covered and the post is covered quick. And he's now coming back to the to the end route on his user. What you're going to notice is when you run this running back seam wheel and the streak, it's going to run off these deep blues. And this post is going to be open right there for a pretty nice little play as well. This play is loaded with power. It's able to beat every single defense in the game. I think this it makes wheel routes great again. Short side wheels, when you pair them with the streak to the tight end and the out route to that outside receiver, it's a really good quick game concept, and it just spaces the field so well and allows us to be able to attack the defense in a variety of ways. I want to thank you for watching the video, and again, if you want to get our full ebook on this formation. Make sure you're in the Patreon. Patreon members get access to everything. All of my ebooks, any updates to those ebooks, and all new ebooks while you're a member. So if you want to sign up, it's only $10 to get access to everything. The link is down in the description if you want to go check it out. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.